Right, so today I wanted to make a very short video about how much training is too much and can there be a point where it becomes not productive anymore. So I'm going to go through three weeks in training in the last year to show when it's been a good idea to do loads of volume and when it's been a bad idea. So we'll go to the, to the good idea first. So this was this time last year, basically January 2021. So you can see it was like decent weeks. So I had a three week block here, or sorry, a two week block. So you can see 23 hours like a thousand TSS, so decent days out, um, pretty good numbers. You can see quite good compliance as well. Like I didn't really mess around. Okay, I didn't do five hours in here, but I think that's because it snowed. So it was slight, I had to do it on the turbo. And then anyway, again, you can see this week was like a 24 hour, 20, almost 25 hour week for the bike, um, including like six hours here. And if you look at this, this efforts here, um, they were actually really good as well for me. At this time of the year, I think all of my efforts were around 320 watts for eight minutes. And I did six of them. So um, unfortunately, the internet is very slow, so you might not be able to see them. Um, but anyway, basically, it's suffice to say it was like 320, 320, um, 320, uh, and then it just goes on and on and on. And six of them is like pretty decent. So you, anyway, you can see at this point, it was a good idea to do a lot of massive volume because I could take it. And if we look at the next week, had like one day off, two days recovery, and then I did a threshold test, and it was like my highest threshold test since my crash of 320 watts. And my previous best ever was like 333, so we're still a fair way off that, but you know, 320 is uh, is not to be sniffed at, so we did like 355 for the first uh, eight minute effort, and the second one we did 354, so again, decent. And we're now gonna go on to a second time when, again, good choice of volume. So I went on holiday, um, you can see like here, so didn't really ride much. Then I had a massive turbo week, so like 18, 20, um, and then had a rest week. So again, it was like a two, three week block. But because I'd just come back, I was like, not gonna do too much. So I needed like 20 hour week. And then if we look at the next week, again, had only two days off, then a 20 minute test, did like 330 something, which was like 20 watts higher than my test before, um, because I had Rona, so my test was quite bad. And then you can say did another three hours, easy ride, and then did a hill climb and like did my best or second best five minute power of uh, 2021 at that point. So we can see again, didn't get too excited, like, you know, had basically a pretty productive week, week despite it being a rest week. OK, I didn't do four hours here, had an hour there, but then felt really fresh for the next week. And you can see more PRs here as well. So that's always good. Um, so again, like you can see at this point, we had a two week block, just come back from training, did just not too much volume and uh, minimal TSS. And it meant the rest week was only really a half rest week. A lot of it was actually quite productive. So I actually almost had a five week block here, um, which was pretty good and felt really fresh the whole time. Um, so you can see I then finished my five week block um, just going into October, which was really good. Um, but then we're going to look at this week where I got a bit too excited. So I started training. Um, pretty uh, like mid November after having like a week and a half off doing hill climbs, you can see I was taking it pretty chill. Did like five hours that week, um, or six hours on the bike. Um, the gym is sort of irrelevant because it's, it's generally about two hours a week. It depends. Uh, then I did ten. Then I did like fifteen, um, or fifteen, sixteen hours, which is fine. And then you can see I did twenty hours, which again is fine. Like twenty hours normally for me is like not too bad. I was feeling fine. Um, and you can see I did like four by 20 here, um, did some decent numbers as well, did a six hour ride and felt really good. So I thought, you know what, we're going to keep going. Um, so then I did some five by eight minute efforts. They were good as well, did six hours on Wednesday, but you can see it was quite hard, six hours, 320 TSS. That's quite a lot, um, like 70% of threshold for six hours, 20 was grim. Uh, then, okay, didn't do my recovery ride. Then I did this stupid ride here. Um, where I did seven hours with an hour and a half at 275 watts. That was grim. And you can see 370 TSS is just way too much. Um, then I tried to do another seven hours with cracks. So I did 91 TSS. And then the last, and then the last, but I did like three hours. So you can see for the week, it was almost 1200 TSS, a 22 hour week on the bike, which was like, I guess you could say not too crazy for me, but it just came too early. You can see the fatigue is bonkers. And I went from a five week from 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 22. And this week I've just felt terrible. I tried to do a threshold test today, but it was just like, bah, numbers not good. But you can see it like I was probably, I was planning to do my threshold test on Thursday, but just felt terrible throughout. Um, and yeah, so you could say that it was not very productive because like I did too many hours, which meant my rest week was just too, like, I, is, I guess you could say it's good. But I think at this time of year, sometimes it's better not to do a stupid block there. 
but just take like a half rest week where you just have two or three easy days and then start training again. I think there's a time and a place to do like the full explode yourself, which I think if we look at it, it was probably around this time last year in January where like, you know, I've been training. I'd had another like two blocks before that, um, before doing like this stupid one. And then you can see even then, like I did have a good rest week, but I could still do numbers on the Thursday, um, which were really good. So I think in that sense, again, it was a little bit too, um, a little bit too ambitious too early on. Uh, it hasn't set me back as much, so you know, but it, it's more the fact that this week has been a real like write off, like real death, which is fine. But I think in reality, it probably would have been better if last week I had done another 20 hour week, not done stupid seven hour rides, which were like an hour and a half of tempo. Like the hour and a half tempo is fine, but doing it with seven hours and then trying to back it up and not getting too much sleep last week, it just all snowballed into the fact that this week has not been that productive. And it's not like it was a waste last week, but you just think if I'd done three hours less, I could have done half this week rest, probably, you know, got some good numbers on my threshold test and then just continue on for the rest of the week and done like, you know, 12 hours in the last three days of the week or something, which probably would have been more productive. Um, but anyway, now the plan, I mean, is, is basically do 20 hours next week and then do 26 and then do 20 um, just because I've got labs. So I can't do too much time, but try and get a good seven hour ride in and then have a rest week. So it should be a good productive three weeks, I reckon. Um, and hopefully by like, I'm going to do a threshold test at like the end of January ish. Hopefully I did, oh, I did like 360 for five today. It felt all right, a bit grim, but like, you know, I was just like, oh, there's no point doing it. If you're not going to get, um, it, it was still feeling quite tired. So I was like, there's just no point doing it. So I reckon, um, you know, we'll do one here. And then uh, first race, 22nd of January, which should be good. Um, so anyway, you know, three weeks um, should be enough to to get some good gains. I'm going to do a bit more intensity. I've got one thing which I want to do, which is a two hour block at 275 watts, because it's just funny. Um, but if I can do that, that'd be quite good. And then a bit more sweet spot over under work and then some threshold and more sweet spot stuff to come, which should be good. Um, and then, yeah, seven hours is always tasty. So any of you just watching, hope you enjoy this video and uh, I'll see you in the next one.